In uh, this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a bridge. Um, you'll sometimes have uh, geometry where there's an actual gap between it. There's no way for me to just, I can't tell it to fill a hole here because there is no hole. I have to actually create a few ad additional or adjoining edges in order for there to be an enclosed area. So I'm going to just zoom in maybe into this area in here and you can see that uh, these two surfaces are sort of sloping downwards so if I go back into my fill single tool and start that up by default this setting down here is set to complete so that's when you're filling a complete hole I don't have a complete hole right now I need to create a bridge so I'm gonna say bridge and that starts up the the command and you can see my cursor shows one what this is prompting me to do is to select a, a vertice to start from and that will in turn select that that complete edge there and then as I bring my cursor over to the other side it gives me a preview of of what it's going to create now um, I want to actually start this with a flat setting to to show you the uh, what that does so I'm going to click here to finish the command. It's actually still in the command, but it, it finishes that bridge. And you'll notice that there's there's no curvature to this at all. Okay, so it's just a flat, straight across. This is the the uh, the sort of the equivalent of filling a hole with a flat um, setting. If I move over to tangent and repeat the same thing, maybe selecting a different area, you'll notice now that the fill or the, the the bridge is now sensitive to the curvature of the surfaces that I'm selecting and as you would guess the the curvature setting will do the same thing oops actually Does it actually, yeah, the curvature does actually change the geometry a little bit. You can see it right here. Pay attention to this area as I finish the command. It actually uh, starts to, to move the geometry a little bit to assist in, in creating an even smoother transition. Again, you're probably going to be using either uh, your curvature or your tangent option for that. So I've, I, if I were to go over to an area like this, for instance, over in here, I'm going to just uh, reset my my uh, rotation. I'm going to choose two areas like this. Actually, let me undo that for a second. I want to go from here to here. Now you can s sort of visualize that I've created what Geomagic considers a hole. There's a, an enclosed boundary here. Uh, so I could quite easily go in here this is my bridge I'm gonna go over to complete and now that's that's sensing as a whole and if I were to click on that it would complete that area like that so that's that's sort of the basics of of creating a bridge you do want to make sure when you when you use this feature that you're selecting edges that are relatively parallel to each other. You don't want to use, for instance, I wouldn't try and create a bridge from from uh, this, oops, I wouldn't try and create a bridge from this over to this guy over here. It would be too, uh, too radical in it and it's too influenced locally to really detect what I'm trying to do. So I would try and use things that are opposite each other if that's at all possible. So maybe from uh, let's say from here oops, from here uh, over across to something that gives me more or less a straight shot that way and that will help another option that you have is to create a partial and the way that works is uh, you select again you define your first vertice on one side and then you go over to the other and you can see that it's it's uh, giving me an option 
uh, it's giving me a preview of how far over I'm going along this this right hand edge so wherever I click it's going to it's going to set that as as the two edges and now it's giving me an option for which side I want to choose now keep in mind there's nothing on this other side here so it would actually try and fill this whole area I want to be sort of mindful of that so I'm going to just click in here and again that'll that'll sort of seal that area off so that's that's sort of how you would bridge gaps between things again it's under the fill single and then the bridge command thanks